Hello everyone, this is Professor J. Kim. Today I'm going to talk about four different color effects in Adobe Animate. Number one, brightness. Number two, tint value. Number three, advanced color settings. Number four, changing the alpha value. And finally, we're going to make some kind of animation like this using four different color effects in Adobe Animate. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so this is the final animation we're going to create today. It's very simple, using one simple image. Uh, so there are four different color effects I used. The first one is the, um, uh, the brightness, and second, tint value, and the third, advanced color settings, and the last, changing the alpha value. Okay, so let's create the, uh, the new Adobe Animate file. I'm going to create it on the social tab and then HD quality, uh, 1280 pixel by 720 pixel and frame rate, 30 frame rate in HTML5 canvas. Then create it. I'm going to change my um, um, viewing option down to 70% so I can view the whole screen. Then first, uh, please download the image I provided in my link, uh, which is the uh, kind of really nice car, fancy car. I'm going to import to stage, which is this, the car. Okay. So this is a transparent pin file. See, there is no background. Okay, so first the thing is, uh, I have only one frame now. So I'm going to insert the, um, the multiple keyframes every 10 frame. So select the frame number 10, and we're going to insert keyframe, keyframe. On 20, keyframe. On 30, keyframe. 40, keyframe. And 50, keyframe. So five different keyframes. And then we're going to use the different color settings on each keyframe. So uh, select the whole thing, that's uh, your layer one, and it will uh, select your entire segment, everything's in blue, and place your mouse cursor any frame in between, between 1 and 50, anywhere. Hold down the control or right click, and you will see that, this drop down menu, and that classic twin. Okay, now we are ready to change. Since it's going to be looped, uh, we're gonna. I'm not gonna change the other color settings of first keyframe and the last keyframe, so it keeps just the looping. So second one, highlight the second keyframe. Then click on your car image on your stage directly, and watch your properties panel. You see the color effects here. No color effect for now. I'm gonna change it brightness. See? So you can make it dark, brighter or darker. It's up to you. I'm going to make it a little bit darker, like that. So my first color effect is done. Brightness. My third keyframe. Select the third keyframe. Click on your car image. And in your properties panel, color effect, choose this time tint. Once you choose the tint, and then the first the tint value, you can control the uh, um, <clears throat> opacity of that. Okay. Also, there are red, green, and blue RGB coordination. So you can mix the color. Like that. See? Or you can click there, yeah, you can choose the, your color you like. Maybe something purple. Like that. Now, frame number four. Select your car on your stage. This time, I'm going to change the advanced settings. Advanced. So you see that? There, you can change the alpha value as well. You can make it totally transparent. And also, there is more the red, green, and blue. So you can control like this. If you want to add more color, you can do this way. You can add more green, more red, more blue, like this. Or, if you turn down everything down to a negative 100, like that, 
and then increase this number see it looks like some kind of a x-ray thing some negative film core I like that okay and frame number five on frame number 40 here keyframe select your car on your frame oops on the frame select your car color effect this time I'm gonna change the alpha value down to zero or 50 or the, whatever you want okay and watch see so it goes back to the very beginning the original white car okay so let me test the uh, this movie under controls menu test movie in browser see isn't it nice okay so on a web browser it will keep playing by default but if you want to um, export it as just the, the mp4 the just video file and if you want to play it about maybe a three second or six seconds or the uh, whatever you want you can try this select the entire segment click on the uh, your layer one hold on the option key keep pressing and drag it right next to it and one more time option drag it that it will just keep playing three times so entire length is gonna be about uh, five seconds that's exactly five seconds okay so um let me save it first save as my car dot fla always make sure save your file as fla file this is a kind of legacy file like the photoshop's psd file and you can go back and you can uh, revise you can edit you can make some changes okay and then i'm gonna export it as a video and media okay I'm not gonna change my rendering size 1280 by 720 everything's the same H.264 this is important format H.264 then my destination is uh, on my color effect folder save it make sure your media encoder is open and export it okay so let me check my folder here is, I have the car.mp4. That is this. So it repeat three times. Okay. Then now you can upload it on the your the SNS and your, and your social media like Instagram, Facebook, uh, anywhere. The file size is not that big. Okay. So that's it. So you can apply these techniques to uh, any image any vector graphics or even any other like a portraits or the sceneries or the any kind of a product images you can use it so i hope this video helps your project and then uh, thanks for watching i'll see you next time